guys, this is PTY Trader. Today we're going to make another video and I'm going to teach you guys how to use a Gamma for the first time. So let's go ahead and open our Windows server. And uh, okay, so we're on the GitHub page. You can see that you'll find the releases here. I'm going to go ahead and post them on the video as well, on the video guide. And what we want to do, we want to install the latest version that has the installers. And that would be 1.1, 1.6.2, which is right here. And we, I've already downloaded the EXE, but it's here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. Alright, so let's go ahead. Once the installer opens, it'll go, uh, it'll look pretty, pretty common, or um, it'll look like just like any other application. You go through the motions. And for those of you that don't know, Agama is not a Bitcoin QT wallet clone. It's made from the ground up. And that's why sometimes it takes a little bit of time to, to work out the kinks. But it's definitely a powerful wallet. And it's going to have a lot of features in it, such as the barter decks and the jumbler in order to tumble your funds within a gamma so it's it's going to be huge and uh currently i mean you'll be able to use the basic functions but we'll be adding them as as they become public If you're using Windows, I, I suggest Agama. For me, it's the easiest to use on Windows. Um, there's another version of the Komodo wallet that is the Swing wallet, and it's very similar to, well, actually, it's, it's the same uh, fork as the one that Hush uses and the one that Zcash uses. Zcash and, uh, well, actually, Zcash does not have an official GUI, and a lot of people don't understand that. So the GUIs that you're seeing for the Zcash forks, they, they're made by third parties and that's why there's sometimes uh, compatibility problems, especially for Windows, I think. But hopefully those will be worked out soon and we'll have a, a different clients for Komodo, for example, or maybe even different clients for, for other Z4, or Zcash forks like Hush. But uh, Agama, I think, is, is probably one of the most complete wallets I've seen as far as design and um, functionality okay so let's go ahead it's almost done or halfway done I mean I'll go ahead and pause the video until it's done okay so it's almost done um, we actually there's an update for the GUI however the installers are not ready for it yet so that's why we're installing the 1.6.2 and I will make a video later on on how um, to actually update the GUI. But for now, the 1.6.2 will work in order to generate your wallet and get your private keys, which is what you want to do when you first open the wallet. Um, I, I see a lot of people having problems with this, and I think this will clarify the steps you need to take. So let's go ahead and launch Shigama now. to allow access a bacillus network for those who don't know is Komodo platforms a proprietary I guess if you want to call it lightweight uh, network of nodes that work it works similar to the Electrum uh, servers where you don't have to download the entire blockchain but it's more secure if you guys want more information about that you definitely can find it um, on the Komodo uh, Komodo platform .com or supernet.org and okay so now we've activated the K 
KMD coin. And what I want to do, I want to prepare a notepad. I see I have it open. I'm going to create a new wallet. So I'm going to copy paste the seed that we get here. And I'm going to paste it here as well. It's going to ask me if I have taken my backup. And I said yes. Okay, so we go ahead and sign in. Whoops. Oops, sorry about that. We sign in. And we can take note of our KMD address. I'm going to save that as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to export my private keys too. This is just habit for me. Uh, a lot of people don't know about the private keys, but the private keys will help you recover um, your funds in, in case that you don't have the seed. So it's asking me for my full seed once again. Get my whiff keys and this is the komodo private key now what i want to do i'm actually going to check both of these just to make sure they match and yep they do okay so now we have our seed we have our KMD address and we have our private key. Now, what I want to do is make sure that my seed generates the same address. For example, if I log out, right? It's just for for your KMD sake. Okay. All right, so it looks like the same address. Everything looks good. And I want to show you guys something. If, for example, if I change the seed by one digit, I generate a completely different address. And that is the problem a lot of people are having. They are saving the seed incorrectly. And then they come back to us telling us it's the wallet. From my own... Um, accounts in helping people daily it's 100 percent user error there's really no way one seed can um, generate two addresses unless the seed is not 100 uh, percent correct when you put it in so okay that's pretty much how you use a gamma i mean we can go let's go ahead and log out uh and log back into our original address whoops My Windows skills are lacking, as you can tell. I think I'm more comfortable now with the command line. Okay, so paste. Sign in. And same address. And to send, we can select the send button. And it'll ask us which address, which will be this one if we had funds in it. An address um, for the payment. The amount, the fee, which it's pretty standard to leave it as is for now. And um, let's see what else. Activate coin. This is in order to activate other coins within the wallet. And let's go back to the dashboard. To receive coins, obviously your address is here, but you can also have it up top if you need it. That's pretty much it. Um, here we're going to have the barter decks and the jumbler and there's an atomic explorer currently in, in agama so as you can see there's other features that are not currently present in your uh, normal bitcoin clone wallets and that's pretty much it so stay tuned i'll make another video on how to update the gui the new gui is actually it works great uh, but this lets you create a wallet and and use it very easily in windows without much effort hello guys uh, i've actually decided to 
put both videos together so we're gonna go ahead and update the Agama GUI now I've sent some KMD to our new address um, so hopefully once we update everything will work out we'll be able to see it on the block Explorer so in order to update the GUI we want to download the 2.02 .02 beta pre-release zip file for Windows which is here and also the config JSON which I've already downloaded okay so let's actually go here what we want to do with the config JSON we want to go ahead and copy it we will go to C users user app data roaming gamma actually iguana and we're gonna paste our config JSON file here now we will unzip our zip um, our 2.02 .02 zip on the desktop I usually do it on the desktop it's just easier for me to reach It'll take a couple of seconds. This will only have to be done until the 2.02 .02 installers are ready. So it shouldn't be much longer, but for now it's it's similar to a patch. Okay, I'll pause. Alright guys, so everything is unzipped and we will find, okay, so this is what we want, uh, this is what, con it's contained in the zip file, so we want to take this over to users, my trader, app data, roaming Komodo, Actually, give me a second. Program files, I got my app. Here we go. And we will paste and replace instead of uh, keeping the old files in there. For some reason the server is very slow so I will pause it until it asks me if I want to replace or keep. Okay so it's asking me if I want to replace the files in the destination and I will say yes. Replace for all. I'll go ahead and pause it again. Okay it's almost done. I'll take advantage of the time to explain to you guys the reason why the update is important. Some people have been having problems sending out um, Komodo from their Agama with the 1.6.2. So the 2.02 .02 solves a lot of those problems and that's why it's very important. So you can use the 1.6.2 uh, for example to create the wallet and, and to have your seed and your private keys. But if you're going to be sending out KMD then it's recommended uh, that you update the GUI just so you won't have any issues. And as you can see everything um, looks good. I'm actually going to delete this one because it pointed to the old one. I'll make a new icon or shortcut and we're going to run Agama again and we will see what happens. So as you can see it looks different. We're going to do a normal start Native only means uh, you would have to download the entire blockchain. We're going to be using Basilisk. So the same thing as before. We're going to activate coin. Komodo. And it's going to ask me for my seed, which, thank goodness, we saved it. And we made sure it 
generated the same key, so they should be the same. So we sign in. As you can see, address is the same. Everything looks a little bit different. We have the new Agama icon. Some of the things were removed up here until they're available, which is the Jumbler and the Barter decks. But this will work perfect for, for using your wallet. As you can see, actually, remember I said I sent one KMD? It's right here in our wallet. So there you have it, there you have it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.